Hello, I'd like to look at this Guardian article before tomorrow, and you'll see why I say particularly before tomorrow in a short while. This article was from a couple of days ago, and it starts with the byline, Revealed International Race Science Network, secretly funded by US tech boss. Now, conspiracy theory stuff is not stuff that I generally adhere to or I find profitable to talk about, but when you look through this, on this one occasion, it would seem like these same figures keep popping up. And we'll be looking how they intersect with a particular influencer on YouTube in a bit. Group promoting dangerous scientific racism ideology teamed up with right-wing extremists. An international network of race science activists seeking to influence public debate with discredited ideas on race and eugenics has been operating with secret funding from multi-millionaire U.S. tech entrepreneur. Undercover filming has revealed the existence of the organization formed two years ago to a Human Diversity Foundation. We'll be coming back to them later. It's interesting to note the Human Diversity Foundation's website at the moment is currently got just a page saying, we're not seeking any more funding or anything else, and that's it. Everything else has been locked away. But here is the man who funded them, and we'll be coming to how he funded other people in a short while. HDF received more than $1 million from Andrew Conroy. If you're not familiar with Conroy, he made his fortune setting up dating websites, particularly Adult Friend Finder, and his name appears on a number of um, uh, works and things that he's funded. Now, here is a man he did fund... Simon Webb of History Debunked. Now, this is Aporia, and Aporia is connected to the Human Diversity Foundation and a whole web of these things. Aporia produces rather wonderful right-wing stuff going on about things like everything from the size of black men's willies, and I know I don't make that up, to stuff indicating that black cute people are not quite as human as the rest of us and all sorts of other junk. But the reason I bring Webb up, I'm not going to make you watch 59 minutes of him talking. In fact, he comes, he, he makes an effort to come across as more reasonable and quell some of his more extreme points, is this book by Webb. Webb gave this book away some time ago on his website, on his, sorry, on his YouTube channel, and put it down as a link, The Equalitarian Dogma. Why ideology and not science dominates debate on ethnicity and race in them modern world, Simon Webb. This book was made possible by a grant from the Conroe Foundation. Now, Webb cannot possibly say I'm making that up or accusing him of something that's not true or something he hasn't put in his own name and his own words. All I'm doing is reading out exactly what Webb has written on the front of that book, what he's typed and what he's allowed to be published. This book was made possible by a generous grant from the Conroe Foundation. You can see him also appearing on that Aporia podcast. And if you want to look up Aporia, you'll find it's a very strange and odd publication. And some of the people connected it with it, such as Emil O. W. Kierkegaard, not the, not the philosopher with the same surname, I'm facing to add, are very, very odd people. I'll turn to him in a minute. Let's clear that from the background. My apologies for that. The widgets get ever more out of control with Windows. Now, Simon Webb's wonderful document here, this book talks about the idea of white people being homo sapiens plus as opposed to black people just being homo sapiens with no plus on them. At least he doesn't give them a minus, I suppose. But Simon has been recently on his channel going on and on about this documentary tomorrow. I suspect he realises that people will start putting the puzzles together about who funds all these groups and who is funding them underneath, and who is funneling money for them to praise, um, preach eugenics and raise hatred up and down the place. Let's turn back briefly to Emil O. W. Kirk, w. Kierkegaard. This gent is, well, odd body's been very polite, in fact. I'm, not, I'm going to be very careful what I say because, and the word allegedly is going to start appearing. He changed his name legally to William Engman. He... Um, he is an activist for legalizing child pornography and incest, as well as lowering the age of consent. And he has a large amount of involvement in Aporia. 
it seems to be a gathering spot for people with, shall we say, interesting ideas. We'll go that far. He's also promoted white supremacy, and there seems to be a large number of people who cluster around that. During the last few days, we'll turn to Simon Webb's own channel. Simon has been running a large number of stories about um, the media, Channel 4 and everything. Let's have a look at what he's had over the last few days. We'll pull up his channel. And we'll pull up the most recent videos. I'm not going to dissect all of them. It will take some time. We have a Channel 4 documentary that Webb argues is influenced by his work, which, uh, frankly, um, I don't believe it in the slightest. It's a book that has a very low rating on the Amazon sales list, and the events Webb discusses in, in that book are well known and a, a piece of history that's frequently commented on by many, many authors. The idea that the producer of that particular documentary win at, uh, got Webb's book, which ranks somewhere around 12,000, on the on the Amazon sales chart to, uh, and plagiarized it is well, it's not very credible to say the least. We then see Webb go on about the Online Safety Act, and you then see him as you go down. He's going on about uh, hate, but hope not hate, and the Guardian, and a roundup of bizarre news on Asenat and that and about how only middle class people are keen on immigration because obviously people who came from the working classes like myself obviously walk around like think talking about darkies and doing endless jokes about fried chicken and endless attempts to divide and wedge people or wedges between people of various ethnicities because of course in the in the web world that seems to be what the working class should be doing then we have this this morning how black history cost a man his life where he webbed uh, sneeringly um, takes issue with a piece of hyperbole on an article, as though he never uses hyperbole himself. And then we have this ridiculous video about why have you never heard of this Nobel Prize winning president from South Africa, um, of the ANC rather, where Webb presumes that most, pe most people must be God confoundingly thick or something, where they wouldn't have heard of major figures in South African history, like Chief Butalezi or people like that, and would have just had the telly off during the 80s and 90s. Now, prior to, I'm wondering what's going to be on that documentary tomorrow. And if I get time, I'm going to try and do a summary review of it. I may not get as much time as I like, as unfortunately I have to pick up a, a relative at the airport, which may or may not use up more time than I like, knowing the delays planes are subject to in the real world. But... This would explain to you why Webb is throwing out these sort of um, damage limitation videos way in advance, because there are loads of channels like him where they where they are constantly themed in the same style. They almost use the same thumbnails with that white typing in front of them and provocative titles. Let's see what tomorrow brings at 10 o'clock on, on that documentary.